All right, friends, hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a third year medical student. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought that I would hop on the trend and show you what is in my bag as a third year medical student. Tell me again, just tell me again and I'll make it right. So this is the bag. It is a bag that I stole from my mother and I don't think she even knew that until this video so thank you very much Trudy for providing this lovely bag. It served me very well, matches most of my outfits. I just realised that my outfits are scrubs. Anyway, um, shall we just dive right in? So, the first thing that can't be missed is my lanyard! It is this beautiful bright green colour and it clearly says I am a medical student so that patients don't think that I am a doctor. I don't get paid enough for that. And then I have some, actually quite a few ID badges and one of the photos is so embarrassing. Look at this one. That's beautiful. But on the other hand, this is my favourite photoshopped picture of me and a child did say that I looked like Princess Moana. So brace yourself. Princess Moana guys. The next thing that is in my bag, I don't usually take placement, I did just put it in my bag for this video because it is very important. And that is my laptop. So I have the Asus Spin. And it is so cool. It can be a normal laptop or, as the name suggests, you can spin it round and it is a tablet. So yeah, you can like touch the screen and draw and use a pen to write notes and all that stuff. So yeah, I really love this. I've had it for a little while and it's still going super strong. So. If you're looking for a good laptop or tablet or both, then I would really recommend this. The next thing that I have is my phone. I have the iPhone XR. Oh, someone messaged me. I still have my Christmas background. This was my Christmas themed background. Let me show you guys actually, because I'm actually pretty proud and I don't think I've flexed this enough. So. One of my great talents in life is designing home screens. Let me show you what I mean. Let me show you. Look at this. Look at this beauty. So this was obviously my Christmas themed one and I decided to go for a theme of like all my favourite like Christmas movies. But anyway, yeah, um, it's March now, Michelle. You need to change your lock screen, but I'm just so proud of it. And I don't know what theme to go for next. I've already had Star Wars. So if you have any ideas of themes I can change my lock screen to, then let me know in the comments below. Next up, pretty standard, I have this notebook. Um, this like just about fits in my scrub pockets. And yeah, I wanted like a hardback notebook because I thought it'd be easier like if I was taking a history from a patient, like, I don't know, and I had to stand up, then I can just like lean against the back of this, if that makes sense. And yeah, it's worked pretty well. This is an Oxford one. I also really like Pucker Pad. Um, so yeah, a notebook is definitely needed. For when I'm taking histories from patients, there is only, this has notes. There is only one thing that I like to use and that is this amazing history taking notepad. I bought this from Instagram. Let me find out the wonderful lady's name who designs these um, so I can give her some free promo because I mean like, Look at it, it has everything you could ever need. It has your presenting complaint, uh, past medical history, drug history, social history, family history, on examination, differentials, final diagnosis, and I think there's notes. Oh, management. Um, yeah, I've just saw it seen on the bottom. It's called lifeofamedic.com. She's on Instagram, mm, I'm not sure Etsy, but she has her own website as well. And she has like this one, she has 
oh, she does amazing stuff. But yeah, as you can see, like I've actually nearly finished this and I will definitely be repurchasing because this has just refined my history taking so well. Like I feel like I never forget anything. And also like even now, like in the rare occasion that I don't have this or like if I'm watching someone else do history, I'll be picturing like the sections in my mind. So yeah, it's super helpful. Another boring but essential item I have is this deodorant. So I just wanted one in my bag because I thought like, you know, sometimes I have to walk a bit from my car to the hospital and I don't want to be like sweaty or smelly like when seeing patients. So it's nice to have like a spray to just refresh yourself um, before you have to go see patients. I also have my Chili's water bottle. So I have this one. It's pink and it has strawberries on and I love it. Um, this is the 500ml size and yeah, it's just amazing. And it's also so essential. Like I have never really drank a lot of water like just as a person, which is bad. But then I used to get like really, really warm on the wards because um, I wasn't drinking enough water. Like I would definitely nearly faint. I haven't actually fainted but I've got very, very close. So yeah, I obviously started bringing this with me every day and like drinking like as much as I could. Me and my placement partner made a rule that like after we see every patient, we have to go drink some water because otherwise it just got so hot. Um, and yeah, I was not coping with it. So as well as being beautiful, it also keeps my water cold and it allows me to not faint. Next, I have my AirPods. They're kind of a little bit dirty. But I take these with me everywhere. I love to like listen to either podcasts or audiobooks or phone someone or listen to music on my walk like to and from the hospital. Um, so yeah, these are a must. I feel like if you're anything like me, this is one of the items that you've probably been waiting for. This is my stethoscope. Um, this is an MDF stethoscope and it is so beautiful. Look at this, it's rose gold and white. It's the most beautiful stethoscope I've ever seen. I was actually looking for, I was just bored the other day and I, I looked on MDF for different stethoscopes like to see if they had any like other pretty ones I might buy. But no, like they didn't have any that as beautiful as this. Um, basically like I want to wait until I graduate to get a Lipman so that I can get it engraved with my name. Um, so my mum got me this cheap MDF one. Like at the time they were really cheap. Um, but now it seems like everyone's hopping on the same idea because when I was looking at MGF the other day they're like £80 and upwards and actually you couldn't actually buy anything on the website everything was like for like pre-order um, so yeah if you want a beautiful stethoscope go try and pre-order from MDF because um, lumens are just a bit boring aren't they um, just a bit plain so next I have some painkillers in my bag always a good idea you never know when you're going to have like a headache or period pains or something. Um, so yeah, I have ibuprofen and what are these? Paracetamol. I also have some period products for in case an accident happens. I also have a hand sanitizer. So this is a strawberry scented one. I'm pretty sure it's from B&M. And yeah, need I say any more? Everyone needs a hand sanitizer. strong clean I also have a pencil and a pen um, for obvious reasons to take notes and I like to write in my planner with a pencil and then go over at the end of the week with a pen and make it all pretty and stuff so that's why I need a pencil and obviously a pen everyone needs a pen just to like write histories up and like take notes and like write in the actual patient's notes I don't think you're allowed to do that in pencil. So next I have my planner. So this is just from Kenji. It's just a plain bullet journal. The texture is really nice. Um, so yeah, what I like to do is, I have an unfinished one here. So this is what I started to do last week. Um, so like I said, I go, I write it all out in pencil and then I go over it and make it pretty. So I don't know, don't know if Mario will want me to show this one, but yeah, I made a really cute. I'll cover Mario's face because this spread was so cute the other week. This is like a little hobby of mine. So 
yeah, made this like cute little uh, spread. And yeah, like I said, it's just a little hobby. Um, a nice way to like end the week. Then I also have this double card. Um, oh, this is such good memories. So basically a couple of weeks ago when I was on the pediatric um, emergency department, a little boy came in and I was playing games with him. And then I went to the playroom and I got double, which is one of my favorite games <laughs> to, um, to play with him basically and yeah this isn't supposed to be in my bag i took the game back and then when i came back i realized that a card had like fallen like onto the table somehow so i keep this in my bag because i am going to return it definitely i'm not a thief but just seeing it just brought back happy memories and then finally i have this pen torch for neurological examinations it has the people sizes on the side and then you just like press the button to make it shine yeah that is everything in my bag um apart from like some dust and stuff i also have some stickers here for my flu vaccination and my covid vaccine i'm going for my second covid vaccine um in a couple of weeks so yeah that is cool so yeah that is everything that is in my my medical student bag i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please like it and what else do you need to do oh yeah subscribe anyway i hope to see you in the next one bye